Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel, The Professional PhD. I am Dr. Viola and I have some years being a field application scientist. Therefore, I want to bring you plenty of videos related to this role. This particular video is probably a video you really want, that you've really been waiting for. It is a video focused on the questions, the best questions that you should ask at a field application scientist interview. All right, as a reminder from my previous video, a field application scientist is a person who travels around and trains clinicians or scientists on a product, a process, or a platform. You provide some other support in other ways as well, internally and externally in your company. So it's very important that you realize this interview process is unique and therefore the questions should be tailored and unique to that interview. So let's jump right in. The first question is in regards to the vision. The vision that the manager of the field application scientist team has for their team overall. Now, you would ask this question only if the manager is in this interview. If it's a first level interview, you're sitting with an HR recruiter, they probably may not know. That's okay. You can lighten it down, if so, if this is the only question that pops up in your head. But this question is in regards to the vision that the manager has for the team. And so instead of asking, what is your vision for the field application scientist team in 2020 or 2021 or in five years, you can ask them, if you could put all of your energy into one area for the field application scientist team, where would you put it? And what is your expected outcome? Okay, so remember as a field application scientist, you're training. You're training on this process, product, or platform. And so it's important to ask questions in relation to just that, this product, process, or platform. And so one question that you can ask is, which area of this product or process or platform usually demands the most attention and needs the most support and why? As the field application scientist, you will not only work with scientists and clinicians in the field, basically the external parts of your company, you'll work in the company with the internal staff as well. You'll work with research and development, with marketing, with the commercial sales team, with the service team, with many teams, the executive team. So many teams will want to know your feedback, your input, your advice. And that's very important to remember during the interview process for a field application scientist position. So therefore, you should ask a question that relates to that. So the third question that you can ask is, how is the collaboration and or relationship, the working relationship between myself as a field application scientist in this company and the research and development team or the marketing team or the sales team? You get what I'm saying, guys. Just pick one. Feedback is very important as a field application scientist. And it's important that your interviewers know that you have the big picture in this role, that you know it's not just about teaching and training, but you provide a support that goes and extends into the internal part of the company. And so you can get information, you can give advice, you can teach them based off of the feedback that you're even getting from your users that you're getting externally. So a good question and the fourth question that you can ask is which type of feedback, whether it's surveys, emails, or phone calls, has been the most helpful in driving or directing the improvement of the product, process, or platform? All right, so I was originally gonna do uh, this video in two parts, but I figured, hey, why not just keep going? These questions are important and these questions can make all the difference in the way you present yourself and show your confidence and knowledge of the big picture of the field application scientist role. Knowing that this position involves so many different tasks and responsibilities, which is fun, and 
something I actually mentioned in a video that's one of the things I like about this role it's never the same day and that's a good thing or the day is never the same you yeah you understand so with that in mind it's important to remember that you communicate that that you understand that you know what I'm not gonna literally just a hundred percent focus in this area and therefore a good question that you can ask them is using a percentage how would you divide my areas of focus or responsibilities as a field application scientist within this company for instance 60 percent of my role will be focused on training 30 percent will be focused on working with marketing to create new documents or technical documents 10 percent is going to be focused on uh r d input you get what i'm saying guys now I know you're gonna go to the website and you're gonna read up on the company before your big interview day and you'll read about how many different let's say platforms are actually around the country and so you may read there's 40 different platforms in 10 different hospitals in three different countries and you know this information it's right there I hope you realize you really need to go to the website and get the information that's right there. So once you've gotten that information, you don't want to go to the interview and ask questions like that. How many different platforms are being used? No, it's right there on the website, read it. So a good question that you can ask though, to go a little bit further and in depth is, well, first you'll start it out by saying, I understand you have 40 different platforms in 20 different hospitals in three different countries. But how many active users would you say do you have with this platform? So for instance, I know there could be probably five or 10 different clinicians that are using this platform at just one hospital. Could you give me a roundabout maybe number of active users that I may support? Now you know they have 200 users around the world who are using this product process or platform. Great. Now you can seamlessly bridge or lead right into a question that follows that. And it is about symposiums. You can ask, well, that's great. You have 200 active users around the world. Do you have symposiums and or conferences? to literally allow your users to share ideas? And if so, how would I, as a field application scientist, contribute to giving those and hosting those? It may be likely that they don't have symposiums and or conferences for their users. Maybe they haven't thought of that yet, but this shows them that you're thinking about that, that you're already thinking about how you can take their mass of users or small amount of users and bring or create a community of knowledge sharing. And this shows that you have big picture thinking outside from just going to a lab or a hospital and training one, two, three, four people. But how can you knowledge share? How can you get these now experts to really share their knowledge, to learn from each other, to grow from each other? Now you're on the right track and you're closer to getting that job. Well guys, I thank you for tuning into this video. I really hope that these questions give you more confidence about things that you can inquire about during your field application scientist interview. I totally wish you good luck. If you are getting ready for an interview or just planning to have an interview one day, um, it's so good to know what you're thinking. Like if you're, if you're, if thoughts come across your mind, like, is this a good question to ask? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm nervous about asking this. So I think this is a little bit too shallow to ask or too traditional. Hey, let me know in the comments below. I think that is very helpful for not only you, but for me. So I can know how to follow up with this video. Maybe there's a actual part two that I may do with this video as well. Um, but for now, please make sure you comment. Let me know if this has been helpful for you. Let me know if you're gonna use some of these questions. Let me know if you have used some of these questions. If you are a field application scientist, 
let me know if you have other questions that you have used and has been so helpful and kind of turned the whole environment and helping you to get the job that you have. So I thank you for tuning into this video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay with me on this journey of getting field application scientist advice. Well, once again, I thank you for tuning into this video and I hope to connect with you again soon. Bye.